Hello children of God. My name is Yemi. I trust you are doing well. Thank you for always coming back to this channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless you. And if this is your first time here, you're welcome. Welcome to the family of God. God bless you. Today my heart is heavy. My heart is heavy for you. As I sit down to read through your heartfelt comments under my recent videos, my heart is heavy with burdens and needs that many of you are facing. And I just want you to know today that I hear you. I see you. I can relate with everything you are going through. And I'm here, here praying for you. I'm here interceding on your behalf. I'm here crying out to our Father in heaven on your behalf. I also want you to know that God sees you. He hears you. He knows your need. Your struggles, your desires, your requests, they matter to him. Praise God. Today, I felt compelled to do something, to do more than just praying for you. I felt led to fast for you. I felt led to fast and pray for you. I've been praying since morning, praying for you, praying that the needs will be met. Praying that the burdens will be lifted. Praying for breakthrough. Praying for solution. Praying for supernatural provision. Divine intervention. I've been praying for you. And right now I'm in the parking lot at my workplace. I just decided to take my lunch break at this time to come into my car to keep praying. I'm going to continue praying as I record this video. So this video might be all over the place. But I want you to join me. I want you to continue. Don't click out of this video. I want you to join your faith with my faith as I pray for you. The Bible says that if two or more people come together in prayer, our Heavenly Father, goes into action. I want you to join your faith with mine as I pray. This video might be all over the place, but don't look at the quality. Just join your faith with mine in prayer and agree with me in the name of Jesus. As I was praying today, before, before I come into the car, interceding for you, I heard the Lord say, I am working now. The Lord says, I am working now. And he gave me a scripture. I'm going to read it for you. It's a profound one. And I just bless him right now for giving us the scripture. It is 2 Kings chapter 2, 2 Kings chapter 3, verse 17, which says, For this is what the Lord says, You will see neither wind nor rain, but this valley will be filled with water. You will have plenty for yourselves and your cattle and other animals. I'm going to read that scripture again. And I want you to believe that this is the Lord speaking directly to you. For this is what the Lord says. You will see neither wind nor rain, but this valley will be filled with water. You will have plenty for yourselves and your cattle and other animals. The Lord is saying that you might not see a sign. You might not see a way. There might be no sign. But your valley will be filled. Your needs will be met supernaturally. God is saying to you that the circumstances may seem unfavorable. The circumstances may not seem favorable. But he will provide abundantly. In fact, I feel like the absence of a sign will be your sign that God is working, that things are about to fall into place. If that makes sense. That scripture says you will have plenty for yourself 
and your cattle and other animals. The Lord is saying that you will have plenty, abundance, not just for you, but for your family, for your children, for everyone around you, for every of your need. Praise God. What a powerful assurance from our God. What a powerful assurance from our God. He sees your need. He hears your prayers and is actively at work on your behalf. You may not see it yet, but behind the scene, God is working. You may not see the rain or the wind, but your valley will be filled with water. Praise God. Perhaps you've been crying out to God for healing, for yourself, for a loved one, for restoration in body, mind, or spirit. Know this. God is working now. He's the God who heals the great physician who can mend broken hearts. He's working now. He's working now. Or maybe your plea to the Lord has been for provision for financial breakthrough, for employment opportunities, for provision in the midst of scarcity. God is working now. God is working now. As I continue to pray, I'm going to leave this video on. I just want you to join me. I just want you to, to join my your faith with my faith as I cry out to God on your behalf in the name of Jesus. And I believe that you will have testimony. God hears us. God hears us. I just want you to be with me as I pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your children, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for this opportunity in the name of Jesus. As I lift up each of you in prayer today, I pray that you would sense the tangible presence of God surrounding you, comforting you and filling you with his peace that surpasses all understanding. May his love wash over you like a gentle wave in the name of Jesus. Dear Heavenly Father, I come before you today with hearts full of gratitude for your love, your mercy, your faithfulness. Thank you for the assurance that you are working now, even when we cannot see it with our eyes. I lift up those among us who are grappling with financial strain, uncertain about how to meet their daily needs or provide for their families. Heavenly Father, you are the ultimate provider and i trust in your promise to supply all our needs according to your riches and glory may doors of opportunity swing open may financial blessings overflow and let every need be met abundantly your word assures us that you will never leave us nor forsake us. So I pray for a tangible manifestation of your provision in the lives of your children who are in need. For those who are seeking for breakthrough, longing for a shift in their circumstances, Father. I speak for divine breakthroughs and blessings. Lord, you are the God of the impossible and nothing is too difficult for you. I pray for breakthroughs in relationships, in finances, in health, and in every area where your children are crying out for a divine touch. May they experience your supernatural favor, your divine intervention, and your miraculous provision in ways they never thought possible. Oh, I lift up those who are seeking gainful employment. Lord, they want to work. They want to work with their hands, Father. Those grappling with uncertainty of their career path or longing for advancement in their current positions. You are the God who opens doors, Father. You open doors that no one can shut. And I pray for divine appointments, strategic connections, and perfect opportunities to manifest in the lives of those who are seeking employment or career advancement. May they walk in the fullness of your purpose for their lives. Let them experience fulfillment, satisfaction, and abundance in their vocations. Lord, I lift up those, Father, who are in need of safe and secure housing, yearning for a place to call home.
where they can find refuge, peace, and stability. You are our shelter in the storm, our fortress in times of troubles. And I pray for divine provision of safe and suitable homes for those who are in need. Whether they are facing homelessness, unsafe living conditions, or housing instability, I pray. I pray for your supernatural intervention to lead them to the perfect dwelling places where they can flourish and thrive. For those who are battling with physical ailments, Father, emotional wounds or broken relationships, I speak forth healing and reconciliation. Lord, you are the great healer and by your stripes we are healed. I pray for divine restoration of health, wholeness and wellness in the lives of those who are suffering. Father, may your healing power flow freely bringing comfort strength and restoration to every area of their lives i lift up those who are in need of reconciliation in their relationships whether it be with family family members lord friends or colleagues i pray for hearts to be softened wounds to be healed relationships to be restored by the power of your love and forgiveness and let your will alone be done in their relationships father i pray god for your divine protection peace and joy to encompass each member of this community let you, God, you, our shield and our defender, I ask that you would surround them with your hedge of protection. Guide them from harm and danger, Lord. Father, let your peace, your peace, your peace, which surpasses all understanding, flood their hearts and minds right now. And let your joy, oh, the joy of the Lord be their strength in the name of Jesus. Let it lift their spirits and infuse them with hope for this season in the name of Jesus. Father, you know every member of this community, every subscriber and their family and those you are bringing to join this community. You know their names. You know where they live. You know their individual needs, especially the pressing ones that have deadlines that are fast approaching. Ah, are you not the one who said before we call, you will answer? And while we're still talking about our needs, you will go ahead and answer our prayer. Lord, answer your children. Answer their prayers, Lord. Meet their needs. Don't let them be put to shame. Show up, Lord. Let there be surprises. You are their portion and you are enough. Please provide. Meet every need. Arise for your children, Father. Oh, Lord, arise, arise, arise for your children. Oh Lord, arise, arise for your children in the name of Jesus. Father, arise, arise for your children, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Show up, Lord, intervene, intervene in their situation, Father. Arise, let there be evidence, Father. Let there be tangible evidence. Let there be results. Let there be provision in the name of Jesus. Let desires be met, Father. Lord, provide, arise, Father, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, because I know you have heard us, Lord. You said when we call to you, you will answer us. And you will show us great and mighty things we do not know. Lord, show us the way. Jesus, show us the way. Show us what we need to do. Show your children what they need to do, where they need to go in the name of Jesus. 
thank you, Lord, because you have heard us. Thank you for the answers that are coming. Thank you for the testimonies that are arising as a result of today's fast and prayer. Thank you because you've heard us, Lord, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' precious and mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 I just want to encourage you with this word. The Lord says he is working now. He's not saying he will walk. He said he is working now. And he said, you will not see wind. You will not see rain. But your valley will be filled. Your valley will will be filled in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Right now, I'm hearing this song in my spirit. Um, I think it is titled Jaira by Elevation Worship. That's what I'm hearing in my spirit right now. I want to encourage you to listen to that song. Worship with that song today. I, I, I will also be doing that here on your behalf as I continue my fast. Worship with that song today. And I pray that the Lord Jehovah Jireh will supply all your needs in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that you will not be put to shame. You will not be stranded in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. I love you and I'm praying for you. God bless you.